Thank you very much. WMAR 2 News is your voice for veterans. This morning, a Maryland VA volunteer got the ultimate thank you being awarded Volunteer of the Year. WMAR 2 News' is Abby Isaac spoke with her and also one of her mentees about her impact on veterans across the state. Hey, buddy. Yes, this is Menta. Hey, what's going on there, Menta? <laughs> All right. It's a warm greeting once a week. She calls every Monday at 12 o'clock. For two veterans who were strangers before this year. Sometimes you get the luck of the draw and it worked out. Ricardo Griffin is disabled from his time in the Navy. He lives alone and found motivation was getting tougher and tougher. I told the social worker, I need help. I need someone. I don't want to go into a nursing home. Through the VA's Compassionate Contact Corps program, he was matched with phone buddy Minta Davis. Her advice and accountability has helped him improve his health. I said, Minta, I'm up to a thousand steps a day. And she said, see, you met your goal. It's a service from the heart. A retired Air National Guard veteran, Davis began volunteering at the VA in 2015. She's contributed nearly a thousand hours serving in roles at every inpatient facility within the VA Maryland healthcare system. She's currently volunteering in an emergency department and hospice care. I am one uh, who gives and I love giving. She recalls a particular situation where the family of a patient in hospice couldn't be there with them for their final moments. Davis facilitated a call so the patient could hear their loved ones by phone. Oh my gosh, it, it opened up so many opportunities and a sense of gratitude just washed all over me. And I knew then that that was the calling, that is the call for me. It's these acts of service that earned her the first ever VA Excellence in Customer Experience Volunteer of the Year Award. I was blown away. I, I mean, I was like, what? In addition to her 12 hours a month with the VA, she volunteers for her church food pantry. Davis hopes her service will inspire others to give back. We can, we can actually start to help communities um, just by showing up. And even if it's just an hour of your time, that is an hour well worth spent. For WMAR2 News, I'm Abby Isaacs.